multilevel inheritance what is multilevel inheritance in multilevel inheritance we have only one superclass and multiple subclasses it means there is one superclass and there is subclass 1 it will extend the superclass and next subclass 2 it will extend the first subclass and if there are uh, any chances of subclass 3 then is definitely extends the second sub subclass and so on so for proper understanding we will take an example uh, let's create a new file sorry new folder multi level that's it we will drag and drop it in vs code now we will create a java file dot java now we will create a super class grid in class grid uh, we will instantiate some variables let int a b c then sorry it will be there int a b c then we, we will make a method that can say the method is void at a is equal to 100 equal to 200 and c is equal to plus b next we will copy it and paste it here and we make another button name is subtraction and name we will name it as sub sorry system sum equal to plus c then subtraction plus sub equal to plus c we will create a new class class mario and it will extend same as usual we are creating two method sorry we will copy that and paste it here and we will create multiply mult like let's take the method name mult and it will multiply a and b the result stored in C. So we will write one is equal to and let's make another method that is div that means division. Let's change the number and we will write here division is equal to then we make a another class this name is luigi extends it will extend mario and in it there will be a method that is remainder okay and Here will be the modulo sign and 100 and 300. Remainder is the same. And next, we are making a finite class. The class name is 
Yoshi. In this okay. class, we will make the main method. Shortcut of main method is PSVM, that is public static environment. Then we obviously make the object for the final subclass, not for another subclasses, because the superclass, the second sub, first subclass, second subclass, and finally this class. The th final subclass will contain all the properties of the second subclass, first subclass, and superclass. So that's why we will make the object of second sub, uh, so final subclass. So we are making Luigi instantiate variable a. Sorry, object reference variable a is equal to new <coughs> Luigi. Then we will call them at all methods a dot add a dot sub a dot mult dot d a dot rim that's it so our code structure is complete and we will take the output so we can see y is minus 100 oh because here b is 200 that's not an issue we will make B50. So we can see the results that all properties are <coughs> invoked into Luigi because Luigi extends Mario. And after this, all Mario's property came in Luigi and Mario extends it. Mario have his own property and all also it extends the property of grids. And that's why Luigi contains the all property of Mario and Great. And this is example of a multi-level inheritance. That's all.